And you're not Badmos TV. Entertainment without bound. We are beautiful. We are strong. We are relentless. And most importantly, we are winners. <laughs> to strike tomorrow. Lagos, guess what's happening in your city tonight as the premiere of Devil in Nagwada happening here at IMAX Film House at Lucky Lagos. And this is Enya Lavadmos TV. And my humble name is Pisola Day, but you know you can call me Lady V. And just in case you're wondering, what's up with the bandana, the black, black? Yes, it's the dress code of a Devil in Nagwada. It says, Come in Devil in Nagwada or come looking like a badass. You know what? And I decided to come like the assassin, you know what I'm saying? I really feel like a badass right now. I feel like I should just see one director. Cut me a role, let me kill the bad guy in the movie. <laughs> Yes, yes, I've seen the trailer of the movie and I love it. Three girls kicking badass and it's something I feel like we're just going to enjoy. Bringing that Hollywood feel, you know, just in cinemas with your popcorn. You're just cruising, you're enjoying it. The movie cast actors like Linda Osifo, Efe, ex Big Brother Niger housemate Erica, Alex Okubo, no Cyrex and so many other fantastic actors. The movie was directed by Usman Elijah and the movie was produced by the one and only beautiful, hardworking, consistent filmmaker. I'm talking about Chini Love AZ. I can't wait to talk to the cast and guests to hear what they have to say about this amazing movie. But don't worry, all you have to do is sit back and relax because I'm here because of you, your royal majesty. So make sure you do what kick watching while I go kick some badass. You know what I'm saying? I guess you on the black carpet and I'm here with one of Nollywood superstar. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. You look absolutely nice. Thank you. What happened? It goes with devil in a but I'll come looking as a sin. Why did you go to the devil? Okay, I think I thought I came with a bit of both. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll let you in that. Have you seen the trailer? Uh yes I have. Anybody you're looking forward to today? Well, it'd be great to see uh, what uh, Erica does in this one, you know, coming out of uh, the Big Brother show and you know expectations are high to see her performance level being the, the main talent in the house you know so um, that's that um, I, f I also understand Chini has pushed the bar a lot higher you know from where she's she's been at a very great pace as a producer a female producer in the industry we did a film together a while ago uh, years ago called hire a man and it's interesting to see her growth ever since then so I really look forward to seeing what it has bring together for this so when you saw Devil in Agbada what came to your mind the title Devil in Agbada uh, it was quite interesting. Nothing really came to mind. You know, I, I thought about, I thought about uh, Yoruba demons. <laughs> you know, because Agbada, you know, the the culture symbolizes Yoruba costume. You know, well, I didn't know what to make of it, but on uh, you know looking further in, I figured it was uh, the politicians. You know, yeah, you look like them actually. We off it now, so you know you're actually exactly. pointing at me. <laughs> they don't wear black gloves, do they? All right. Any words you like to say to Chini? Yeah, I mean, keep pushing the bar. Um, we're excited for you, and uh, we'll stay rooting for you. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for having me. And your la ma pa mi na. And your la ma pa mi na. Eh 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 eh. Chop this life and your la eh. Chop this life and your la. All right, this is at your side there with your but you already know cuz my head no where. This is at your side there with your saying keep watching and your la bad must TV cuz they happen here. Chee. 
And I'm here with a very beautiful Nollywood Alex. Only oh, yeah, Alex, how you doing? I'm good, darling. First of all, I love, I love your outfit. You killed it. Like, you killed it. If I was to give you a crown for today's outfit, I'll give it Thank to you. you. Thank so you. tell us who styled you. Tiana. Tiana did it. No, no. Styling. You know, you know. So why did you decide to come with the assassin? You didn't come with the devil in Aguada, look. Uh, I don't think I can rock Aguada. <laughs> this, this is what I love. I love this look, yeah. So when you heard devil in Aguada, what came to your mind? <sighs> That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I don't really don't know. That's why I'm here to see. Have you seen the thriller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's what you're looking forward. I, I wonder. Of course, Alice Kuba, Uzo, Linda. I have a lot of them. Rex. To my guys. So I'm here to support and see what they did, and I trust they killed it. So you've worked with Chini. We've seen you work with Chini so well. Tell us what you have to say to Chini about Devil in Aguada. <sighs> Chini is, I don't know the word to say, but she's just, I call her Miss Independence. Like she does something and I'm laxing her like, who, who, who? She's a strong woman. You know, she's my friend, my sister. And I know that this one, she will kill it. <laughs> All right, before I let you go, as a Nollywood actress, tell me, what's that role? What's that character you can never be caught playing? I cannot? You can never be caught playing. You can never act that role character. Um... Maybe, I don't know, maybe being naked, something. I love challenging roles actually, but yeah. Even if the pay is actually what was. No, 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 no. I won't, I won't, I would, my darling, no. All right, thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much, and you're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Eina Wigwe. I'm right here on the black carpet for the Devil in Agbada movie premiere. And you're watching Eniola Badmos TV. Stay tuned. And I'm here with one of Nollywood Ansem actor, Alex Okubo. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. You said I sneaked the answer. <laughs> thank you. So you came here looking like the assassin. You didn't come here with your Agbada. What happened? No, no, no. See, the dress code is Agbada or baddies. So I came looking like a bad guy. That's what I'm saying. You didn't come with the devil in Agbada. No, somebody else, is, <laughs> somebody else is doing that. So actually in this movie, can you tell us a little bit about your role? Play the character Chinedu Cream in... Um, the movie Devil in a Body, the Cream is a pimp for politicians who facilitates and encourages, you know, and indulges their bad habits, you know. So I'm like the fun character, the fun guy in the movie. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. When you saw the title Devil in a Body, when you got the script, what came to your mind? I was, I, I, I found it fascinating, you know, I called Chini and she said she has a story, so we were like, okay, good, please. On, on the premiere day, she said she will share it, so I'm waiting to really hear what's about. Okay. You've worked with Chini. Tell us a little bit about Chini. Chini is amazing. She's a rock star. I've done a couple of projects with her in the past. One of which is Hire a Woman that is on Netflix. Um, she knows what she wants. She knows how to get it. She knows how to go about it. Okay, before I let you go, you're among the Chop Life Gang. Tell us, what's Chop Life Gang all about? <laughs> Tonight is about Devil and Agbada. That's oh, why we're here. Chop Life Gang, my friends, shout outs to IK, shout outs to Yomi Kajra. I love you guys so much. Peace and love. Okay, before I let you go, please tell me as an Hollywood actor, what's that role What can never be caught playing? Never, I mean, never say never, guy. You know, what you're saying no to today, you might do tomorrow. So never say no. Life is short. Live life to the fullest and be happy all the time. All right. Thank you for talking. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Since you get TV. <laughs> you know, like get TV, babe. I, I'm, I don't know. Are you not speaking? Enola, Enola bad Is he not choking you? Enola bad Hey. Enola bad Some people are just cashing out. Hmm. Please, guys. Hey, guys. My name is Organi. Hey guys, my name is Anna Joseph Olagunji. Get home before you do know this thing. Hey guys, my name is Anna Joseph Olagunji. Eke no Jake Mother Henke ngala kwase leke ma se ke fekili. Please keep watching in your lab bad most TV. She gets it. Keep a lot. Keep watching. Keep watching. Hi guys, still on the here black carpet of Devil in Agbada and I'm here with the very beautiful superstar Erika. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. You came here to kill us. You look absolutely nice. Your outfit is so nice. Thank you so much. When you got the script and you just a devil in a butter, what came to your mind? Badass. Dreams come true. Because in my mind, I've always wanted this. I've always wanted to play the badass. Not the usual lover girl, you know. And I got it. And I was so grateful. Who yeah. did you enjoy being with on set? Uh, different people. What, what's the question? I don't Who did you enjoy with being on set? Like, uh, you enjoy with? I enjoyed being with everyone on set but the people I, I work close to um, were like Efe, Irele and Linda Osifo because we played the lead together so we're together all the time yeah but obviously 
Alex, um, Alex Akuba was there also. Ah, of course, he's my brother. We've been on higher woman set before. And then Chini herself. Yeah, of course. And every other person. This is like the second time you're working with Chini, if I'm correct. So what do you have to say to Chini about Devil in Abandon? Chini, you outdid yourself on this one. <laughs> yes. So before I let you go, about Big Brother Ninja, what do you have to say to the incoming housemates who wants to be like you, you know, like I want to be like Erica, what do you have to say to them? Um, work on yourself and make sure you are ready for the fame because everyone wants to see what you want to do with your life, you know, so just have a plan for what you're going to do when you get out of the house. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Any words for trolls? No. <laughs> Alright, now tell people why they have to come out uh, July 2nd to watch this movie. Everyone come out, watch Devil in Agbada on the 2nd of July. Keep coming. You watch it over and over and again. Okay? <laughs> All right, thank you for... just another Lollywood actress but she's actually in the movie we are here for. I'm here yes. with the beautiful Linda Osifo. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you. Good evening. You look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you look stunning. I love you. You need to give me details about this outfit. You look stunning. Well, uh, it's by Sue Mano, which is made in Nigeria. And I guess um, we came with the baddie vibes. Yeah, extraordinary baddie vibes. <laughs> you guys killed it. So tell me, actually in this movie, tell me a little bit about your role. Well, I play the character Irene, and Irene, well, Irene has a military background. Um, you know, she has background in military training, and she, she's a very different character because her revenge wasn't just about her emotions. She was ready to go physical. She was ready to fight, and if that means her fighting her last everything she was willing to do it and they almost got killed and Irene was willing to take hands on with people that you really wouldn't think she should but she did and so it's something that I'd, I think it's very different and extraordinary for me <laughs> who did you enjoy acting with who did you enjoy truth be told each and every one of the characters and especially the girls which is Erica and Effie it was my first time working with both of them and you know everybody just got to create a different kind of bond and different kind of relationship and we all literally went through the happiness the tears the stress the joy and all together we did together <laughs> we all chopped together <laughs> okay now you work with Chini tell us how's Chini who's Chini it's my first time working with Chini, and like I said in the other interview, I've seen her great films um, like Hire a Man. And when I've seen that movie, you know, when I saw it, I thought this was very different. But to now be in Devil in Nagbada, I can confirm to you and say to you that it is extremely unique and different. And it's amazing working with her. She's extraordinary. Before I let you go now, you're a Nollywood actress. Tell us, what's that role? What's that character you can never be caught acting, you can never be caught playing? Um, well, I wouldn't say there's that character yet because the essence of every actor is to take more risk. But I definitely know I'm not going to be going nude fully on any film. At least in my vision for now. I wonder if it's holding some couple of millions, millions, millions. That means I'm in Hollywood. When I'm in Hollywood, meet me there, baby girl. <laughs> All right, before I let you go now, tell people why they have to come out to cinema to so watch this movie starting from July 2nd. The reason you have to come out to watch Devil in Agbada July 2nd is, number one, I am in it. Number two, a lot of great actors and actresses are in it. And number three, it's produced by Chini and you will not regret your money. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for talking to me. Shout out to Eniola Badmos TV. Still on the black cap right here, and I'm here with one of Nollywood superstar actor. How are you doing? I'm doing great, and how are you? I'm fine. You look absolutely nice. Thank you. You're what? looking amazing yourself. Thank you. So what happened? You came with the devil, but I didn't go for the assassin. You know. I I I didn't really. Okay. What what happened? The truth is, I I I I left it to my stylist to make a pick, and he decided I would be a devil in Agbada tonight. And he killed it. Can you tell us who styled you? Uh, House of Jermaine, here in Lagos, Nigeria, doing great work. So yeah. you've seen the teaser, or will I say the thriller? Yeah. So is there anybody you're expecting in this particular movie you can't wait to see? Actually, most of the cast of this film are people I am rooting for, 
people I've seen their works, people I've worked with, uh, and people I want to see how they come together as an ensemble and uh, put up this beautiful work. I am not rooting particularly for anybody, I'm rooting for everybody because I want to see how their chemistry plays out. So for me, it's going to be an exciting evening. When you heard Devin Agbada, what came to your mind? Like uh, Eerie, um, slimy, dark, devious, you know. I don't know, but I expect to see one of such characters in the movie tonight. You really went deep. I like that devious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what would you like to say to Chini? Chini is an amazing personality. I like Chini's spirit as a producer. Chini is somebody I know is going places. We keep saying this and it's coming to reality. Chini is going to be the Tyler Perry of Nigeria. Mark my words. Chini, okay. you're doing a great job, Chini. Keep it up. All right, before I let you go, is there any one role you can never play? Is there any role you can never play? I can never play. I haven't thought about that before. Any one role I could never play? Um, maybe a stripper. Maybe that thing I can do. <laughs> I wouldn't even want you to try that. <laughs> you had better not. I wouldn't even take up a role like that anyways. But never say never. This is acting. Some long as the money comes. me stripping on the pole or something. Listen, never say that. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hello. My name is Linda Osifo. And you are watching Eniola Badmos. Don't touch that dial. Yes, so. <laughs> Thank you. Hi guys, still at the black carpet of Devwin Agwada and I'm here with one of Nollywood actress, Etinosa. How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. you came here looking like you wanted to just blow our head off. The well, <laughs> well um, I had to go with the theme, you know, as a cast of the movie, I should be one of the people upholding our theme, you know. So it was either Agbada or Badi. I choose Badi because I want to take down some devils in Agbada. <laughs> Can you tell us who styled you? His name is Swazi, a brand name is Lifestyle Lagos. You guys cued it. We nailed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tell us, you're in this movie. Tell us a little bit about your role. So um, I played Miss Pepeo, um, one of the many victims of the devil in Agbada, who um, at some point teamed up with the, the trio, the femme fatale, to take down the devil in Agbada. I would call her the inside woman. You know, if you have to take a strong man down, you need to find someone inside his house to be your inner inside man or inside woman. So that's what I played, basically, the snitch of the house. How was it on set? Hmm, I want to say it was fun, but it was also very, very, very stressful, considering our shooting schedules. And, you know, making a movie is never child's play anyways. But altogether, having a, a very good director that you can trust makes it easy. Having a producer who is experienced and who takes the actor's welfare above every other thing it's always a blessing. So altogether, it was amazing. When you got the script and you just saw Devin Nagbada, what came to your mind? Uh, truthfully, I thought it was like mm, some ca Casanova or something. Okay, so I was curious. Okay, is it going to be like um, um, AY Zero But Demon or Agbada? What? Okay, let me just see. So I was, I was very um, curious. It's a very catchy title. And then I read it and I was even more excited about it. What did you enjoy working with the most? Off the top of my head, I would say Alex Akuba, because apart from me, he was like the clown of the set. He was helping us when our energy was down, you know, very lively person, and you know, you can bounce off his energy. And even the character he played was such a vibe, you know. So yeah, for now I'll say um, Alex Akuba. Before I let you go, what do you have to say to Chini about Devil in Agbada? Oh, Chini, Candid, Chini, see. <laughs> anyway, uh, Chini, at first, let me not lie, I was scared when I read the script. It was huge. The first question in everybody's mind was, can we pull this off? It's Nanajao. Women fighting, jumping on top building, doing pok, 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 pok. Can we do this? You know? But I'm so proud today. I saw some of the um, rushes, I saw the teaser. I'm so proud to be a part of this movie. I'm so proud to know each in love. Keep going. Devil Nagbada, Banga. Congratulations, Chini Love Easy. And congratulations, director, Umanu Elijah. Okay, my last question before I let you go. As a Nollywood actress, tell me, what's that one role, one character you can never be caught playing? Never be caught playing? Um, I don't know right now because somehow as an artist you're not supposed to have limitations so I don't think there's any role I would say oh I can never be caught playing I'm not sure yet I have to really sit down and think about that question. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks for having me. Hey, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube. So you can get to what different trending news. You can get to what different entertainment updates. And of course, all the news going on around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And and I'm here with the Mr. and the Mrs. How are you doing, first of all? Good, thank you. How do you feel coming out here with the Mrs.? I always, I feel great. I feel like a champion, you know. So let's start with the outfit. Who styled you guys? You look absolutely... At first, I thought it was like maybe it's Mr.'s outfit they're wearing. But I saw there's a skirt. <laughs> yeah, I saw it as a skirt. I'm like, no, it's a Mrs. So who styled you? Um, Soft Couture. Like, you look absolutely nice. But the cap, you are Mr. She, oh, uh, she made the cap too. Oh, you guys look nice. So I've saw you seen the trailer of Devil in a Weather. Yes, I have. Who are you expecting to see the most? All of them. I just want to see something whatever. I want to see different characters. I want to see what Erika did, you know. So when you heard Devil in a Weather, what came to your mind? Like action, devilish, blackmail and all that deceit. All right, what do you have to say to Chini? Because I've seen you work with Chini for a while, so tell us. Over and over again. Chini is, um, she's a wonderful person. And I want to wish her a very big luck on, on this movie because it's going to come out great as she'll make so much money. This is a masterpiece. You know, um, the fact that the girls did it is the girls for me. All right, okay, let me go to the mister now. You look absolutely nice. I love it. Maybe I'll take the cap when I'm Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> so, you all guys have put your love so much out there and it's so amazing. But sometimes trolls, what do you just have to say to the trolls when they just, you know, sometimes, <laughs> all the time. Okay, but me, I'm always seeing the, the good ones, always commenting. But I know they are always trolls. What comes to your mind when you say that? Ah, there's a lot of negativity that has been promoted around, especially in relationships and, you know, marriages and all that. So I feel like we, always, we all have to stand for something. We all have to stand for the positive side of marriages. It's not only the fact that you marry, if you marry a peaceful woman, you'll be happy. You'll be happy, that's just the truth. So, um, us putting our love out there is just to motivate people. It's just to make people see that there's love. Because often time, a lot of people, what young girls believe in is divorce. Marriage is not good, marriage is not sweet. So we're trying to educate them and let them know that marriage is actually sweet. Don't be deceived. People are enjoying marriage low-key, yes, don't be deceived. But what the press put out is violence, the bad news about marriages, you know. All right, before I let you go, tell me two things you like about your husband. Hey, voila. Uh-uh. <laughs> Baby, coming down, Zukwani K. My husband is, he's sweet. He's a God's man. You say two now. I can't count. <laughs> I thought you were going. You were going emotional. All right, for you to two, what do you have to say to your beautiful wife? She's an Amazon. She's a diamond to me. She's so precious. That's, that's how. She, that's how. That's how she is to me. An Amazon and a diamond. All of you that are single, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> all right. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>
I'm here with one of Nollywood finest actors and also a TV presenter, Nancy Semen. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I love, love your outfit. Thank you. Well, you didn't come here looking like any devil in a bad me. I tried. <laughs> yeah, you did. You look absolutely nice. <laughs> thank you so much. Have you seen the trailer of the movie? No, I haven't. I haven't. Oh, you seen the posters? I've seen the trailer. The trailer. Yeah, I have. I haven't seen the movie yet. I thought that's what you meant. But yeah, we're about to go in and watch it. So yeah. Is there anybody you're expecting to see? In the movie? All the, everybody, you know. I mean, I'm just particularly so proud of Chini Love. Like she's just she knows that onions and she keeps pushing and keeps working hard. So it's it's very inspiring to see, and I'm really here to support her and everybody else in the film. When you heard Devil in Agbada, what came to your mind? Eh? When you heard Devil in Agbada, what came to your mind? Some bad guy in Agbada. That's what I thought. Before I let you go, as a Nollywood actor, tell me, what's that role you can never be caught playing? I, I used to have a couple of those, but not anymore. I think the love for Nollywood has transcended um, my need to, to you know, restrict myself in terms of roles. So you're open to any role? Basically, it still depends. I think when, it, when I'm faced with such a role, I can now tell deep inside of me if it's something I can do or not. All right, okay. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Here with Efe, one of the lead actresses in Devil in Agbada, and she came here with a machine. She came here to kill us. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Tell us about your outfit. Um, my outfit. Um, yeah, like I said, buddy. <laughs> so my amazing stylist and my assistant put this together. They were amazing. My hairstylist, Touch of Ivy, um, my makeup artist piece. We had like an inspiration, and we just sent it, and everybody came through with theirs. So that's good. How was it on set? Um, on set, it was good. It was good. Like uh, I've said before, the energy from Linda and Erica was amazing. And then it wasn't my first time working with Erica. We'd worked together in another job, like literally a few weeks before. Um, so it was family. It was nice. It was fun. The when you saw Devil in Agbada, what came to your mind when you just saw the script? Oh, I'd heard about the script before I read the script. So um, Chini, the producer, who did an amazing job, by the way, um, literally had told me the story, and I'm like, yo, this is sick. I want to definitely be a part of it. And she's like, yes, let's do this. And so reading the script, and from what she told me, I'm like, yes, this definitely is it. This is definitely something I want to be a part of. And I had fun doing it. I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to see what you did there. But before I let you go, tell me, as an Hollywood actress, what's that role you can never be caught playing? <laughs> as an there I would never say there's any role I can't play I would always want to play something different I would always want to push myself heck I played a stripper before so like bring it on <laughs> all right now tell people why they have to come out July 2nd to watch this movie um if you are looking at me right now you see such a hot body yes definitely you have to come out and watch definitely but as amazing actors put in amazing work in it so yes definitely that's one of it all right, thank you so much for when I told you I came here looking like a badass, I'm not joking. Do you have any person you want me to just, you know, you know, threaten for you? I'm going to shoot them. <laughs> Hi, guys. We just finished watching Devil in Aguada, and I love it. Love, love, love it. You guys need to come out and watch it. But I'm sure you've heard your favorite celebrities and influencers, what they have to say about Devil in Aguada. Please come out July 2nd to watch this movie. I bet you're not going to regret it. This is the part I have to exist the camera. But don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. You also stay tuned and say subscribe to Enola Badmos on TV. You know we love to keep you entertained. Shall I come your way next time? Stay blessed. Stay happy. Bye-bye. Don't forget I'm a badass. I said it. We are strong, we are relentless, and most importantly, we are winners! <laughs>
wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube. So you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without Bad